Welcome back to the tournament. We're going to do things a little different today. We are going to show just the live action views and I'm not going to talk over those. And uh, then when those are all done for these matches, we'll go into the tech view and I'll discuss it in that. Uh, so for today, first up we have the F-14 battling against the F-86 Sabre. And they are going to see who can move on to take on the F-5 Tiger II to stay alive. And then we're also going to have the L-39 Albatross up against the MiG-21 Fishbed. And whoever wins that will stay alive and have the opportunity to attack the MiG-19 Farmer. And that will be our games today. Why would you do this?
Okay, here we go with the F-14 versus F-86, and this was kind of an interesting fight. It uh, took a while, but um, the F-86 has really been coming on strong. Um, it's just able to turn better than these faster aircraft. Um, and actually, it's got a lot more energy here than the F-14. I don't know why the F-14 uh, is going so slowly, but but it is. And for whatever reason, I remember when I was watching this, I, I wasn't quite for sure why the F-86 decided to just fly straight there. Um, doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but um, I, th I thought that it had decided to not bother fighting. Um, and he obviously here the, uh, the F-14 had a pretty big advantage, but the F-86 was far enough away that he could... Um, he could turn around. So, um, I'm okay. I guess he's just adjusting there. So they're going to do another merge. And they both kind of go vertical here. And now the F-14 does have a lot more speed than the F-86. The F-86 is really bleeding off here. Um, I don't think, well, yeah, it's kind of making that turn, but the F-14 still has the advantage. It looks like even though the F-86 is turning pretty well, but he stalls out there. And there's not a shot, but the F-14 is in the driver's seat at the moment. <clears throat> Except, <laughs> he's going fast enough that he's no longer in the driver's seat. That's, uh, that's an overshoot. It's a somewhat neutral overshoot. Maybe. Um, nope, it's a less than neutral overshoot. So now the F-86 is driving. And with a good energy state, comparatively. I mean, uh, the F-14 climbed quite a bit there. But, but this is the point where the F-86 kind of gets in behind and tucks in and just tries to get the geometry right. So... Um, <clears throat> there's a lot of maneuvering here and, and really the F-14 is doing better against this F-86 than, uh, than either of the previous two aircraft that it fought. So, um, so it's actually doing pretty good. Somewhere in here, I think we get our first shots and eh, not quite yet. We're going to do it like this, and there we go. So there we go. And the F-86 is just really calculated on its shots. And uh, as you saw in the video, it has really good rudder control. So, uh, or it seems to, which the F-14 does too. There's some more shots. Um, as it comes up and slows way down, the F-14 starts kind of, arcing over and the F-86 is going pretty slow and just woo, lit him up there but uh, just kind of rudders over to to keep the lead or to stay kind of tracking with the F-14 so and there's that lead pursuit closing distance gets another shot so it just stays in behind there's the the lag pursuit stays in behind but then once he gets in the plane, right plane of movement, uh, pulls ahead, puts the lead on him, and then just kind of stays with him. And then this is where he starts to follow. And then for whatever reason, I guess the, the computer knew that, uh, that it was over. So he just takes off and sort of keeps an eye on him. Maybe, maybe he's being chivalrous. Maybe he's uh, letting him go, being a good sport. Maybe that's what it is. So... Uh, there you have that one. Okay, we have the albatross versus the fish bed. And this one was relatively boring. I mean, I, I really lost track at first, so I kind of want to see what, what they do here at the beginning. Um, but then once it once it devolved into kind of a normal, the normal uh, fast versus slow kind of a fight, um, we'll speed it up because... That was kind of boring. 
Looks like the L39 stalled out there. I don't or or got near to it. I don't know that I really caught that in the video. And it looks like the MIG is already doing the um, the rapid fly away, turn around and uh, turn around and merge again, kind of a thing. So I I didn't really catch that. I don't think in the in the uh, live video. But that's essentially what's going on. Of course, the the L39, I, and I still don't know why the AI decides to weave like that to try to line up. And I, I guess they're just trying to figure out, they're trying to predict where the uh, the other aircraft is going or something, I, I guess. I don't really know, but they'd be going faster and truer, I think. They'd get more shots if they didn't do that. but Or if there was, um, perhaps if they were a little bit smoother about it. I don't know. So he he shoots a couple of times, and does it does a kind of an interesting turn, almost a stall turn, not quite, but. And I think there were quite a few where. There just weren't any shots. Um, I'm I'm getting some of these matches confused in my head now too, so I don't remember if the Mig ever fired in in any of these head-on passes or not but yeah there's really nothing that interesting about this fight it's just we we've seen it uh let me back that up because i do I do always get so interested in how close they get. <laughs> They're pretty close. They're pretty close. So <clears throat> let's move on. Doesn't look like anybody shot the last couple of times. Uh, and here we go. This is going to be now. I watched this back um, in another replay, and uh, I, I guess the L39 is going to land or something. I'm not really for sure, but I watched this back, and the Mig never fired uh, in the in the track. He just or he might have fired, but he didn't hit it, and he just flew past. So uh, I'm curious. Yeah, there we go. That that's and I kind of missed it in the video. That's why I was watching the track. I was trying to catch a better view of it and it just didn't happen so I, I apologize for missing that but um but anyway that's what happened and sometimes the tracks get really funny okay now we're moving on to game 53 so this was the f-86 who just beat the f-14 going up against the uh f-5 uh, which i might have uh, I don't know. I might have miss said what that plane was already. I don't. I don't remember exactly what I said to start this video. But anyway, um, they do kind of a mirrored merge in a lot of ways, and the F-86 pulls up really sharply, pitches up nicely, but um, burns a lot of energy off. But still, this is kind of what we've seen with the F-86 in most of the matches so far. Uh, when it's up against a faster jet, it it can do a much smaller um, half loop. The F5 does a nice little half loop though, and and it's kind of a pretty double helix coming down. The F5 is a little ahead, moving faster, moving a lot faster. But the F86, as usual, gets to tuck in behind the F5. Now, I I will give the F5 a lot of credit because. Uh, I mean, right here, it does look like it's just moving in plane, but it, it does a little bit more than both the F-16 and F-18 did to try to get out. Um, it does take some bullets there, and uh, and it eats a decent amount of bullets. And again, the uh, the F-86 is just really, um, really doing yeoman's work with those 50 caliber guns. The F-5 absorbs a, a decent amount of firepower there, and... He could he could possibly move a little bit more out of plane, I guess, but you know conservation of energy is a thing too. He does a good job there, or maybe the saber does a poor job of of staying with him. And let me slow this down. And uh, actually, let's do this. Yep, there we go. There we go. Now we can start it back up. 
the views are easier to control when I do do that. So, so we've seen this a number of times where the the gap kind of closes as they climb because this guy's slowing down faster than this or sooner than this guy is, and then on the way down he'll start speeding up. And uh, at a point, man, this is a tight half loop there, but he's really slow. So the the uh, defensive guy is really fast and kind of gains some distance and the offensive guy gains it on the climb. There's a couple of times here and I didn't quite catch what happened. It's it's always hard to. Um, oh, there's more bullets that he eats. Um, but there's some times here where the F5, uh, golly, every time he fires he gets hits. Um, the F5 almost turned it around on him a little bit. And maybe we can tell if it's a mistake by the F-86 or if it's a, a uh, just a really clever move by the F-5. I'm not for sure. But, but yeah, here, I mean, the, the F-86 is not going that fast. So he just, it's almost like he relaxed a little bit, maybe to try to conserve energy some. But the F-5 got turned around pretty nicely there. Still not in an offensive position but certainly not in as bad of a position as he was before. And then before you know it, the F-86 is in tow again. Um, Sabre does a good job of getting back around. Of course, it's, you know, it's hard in a fast jet, a jet that likes to go fast. It's kind of hard when you're up against a, uh, a jet that doesn't like to go so fast. Um, here, there, there are still some geometric problems for the F-86 here. Oh, and here... I think to try to avoid crashing, the F-86 rolled a different direction and kind of took off. And here, they're more on neutral ground again. I was really kind of hoping, not that I was rooting for one or the other here. I guess I, I was kind of rooting for the Saber, but, um, but I was almost hoping that the F-80, or the, sorry, the F-5, the Tiger would take better advantage of this, but um, it just didn't happen. So we have kind of a, kind of another merge, sort of. And I thought somewhere in here, the F5 did pop some shots at the, uh, the Sabre, but hey, that's the first time the Sabre missed. Obviously, some bullets had missed, but uh, but he got hits every time so far until then. Again, the, the Sabre's turning really well. The, in this little section, the Tiger's doing a good job of not getting shot. So, uh, that's I've said it before, but that's your first job if you're on defense is uh, don't get shot. Um, make geometric and spacing issues and timing issues for the for the uh, offensive person. And again, the F-86, I think to avoid crashing, kind of makes a different maneuver than what would be optimal, I suppose, and gives the F-5 a little bit of a chance. So, especially here, he's not he's not turning very sharply at all. Now, th and this is, that's where I would have, um, yeah, here we go. Pretty sure there's a pop shot here, but, or a snap shot. Um, Pretty sure, yeah, it went under. So I knew he missed, but uh, it was a good opportunity. And then uh, he's going so much faster, he can't help but overshoot. The F-86 just gets to rudder over a little bit and get in tow. Now the the benefit for the Tiger is that he's going pretty fast. So um, we're quickly, like there's not a shot here and he's and he's opening up the distance really well. So, um, so it's not the end of the world, but certainly not the best thing in the world to do if i was him i just would have kept crank uh going without turning quite as quite as sharply or rolling over but but then i don't know what i'm doing most of the time and here we are this is we're, we're back in the same boat that we were at the beginning so um f-86 is back in tow energy states are good and, and right there I, I believe that was the 
bit where the tiger lost a horizontal stabilizer. I could be wrong. There might be another shot in here somewhere. Whoop. Hmm. If 86 just goes the wrong way, yep, there we go. So it was an interesting fight, um, more evenly matched than I thought it would be, but uh, the F-86 was mostly in control with only a couple of little uh, blips here where the F-5 might have been able to take advantage of it. But um, but I'm, I'm glad I wasn't in the Tiger trying to fight the F-86 because I would have been dead a lot sooner. For the final fight that we watched, uh, MiG-21 versus MiG-19. This one, sh I, I thought it would be interesting. It wasn't quite as interesting as I hoped it would be, but um, but it it was it was interesting to watch. You know, these are similar jets. Um, I would always assume that the MiG-19 is more agile and the MiG-21 is faster. Um, I think that that's a pretty safe assumption. Also, while we watch them. Um, fight here in the early stages i i hope that the i hope you guys enjoy the new format that i'm doing on this video um it takes a little more work in some ways and a little bit less in others so um but it, it seems to make some sense um but anyway let me know what you think and yeah the mig-19 is obviously turning quicker here um Speed is fairly even in a lot of ways, depending, you know, they're at different altitudes now. So, um, it just kind of depends on where they are in their path, which one has more speed. So, I think energy is fairly even so far. Um, and again, other folks may have a better idea of how to judge differences in altitude and speed at the same time i can't really tell you how much more energy someone has um how much more potential energy someone has so uh, i can just look at kinetic energy and then understand which one's higher up in altitude than the other one so i don't know how to balance that out but anyway uh, as you can see the mig 19 is just doing a much better job here um, we're going to speed it up because uh if i remember right no shots were ever fired here so we'll just we'll watch it if i see something that looks kind of interesting we'll slow it down but um there were a few points where i, I feel felt like the mig 19 could have taken better advantage um you know see he pulls pulls really sharp lead there but i don't know that he was in a good position to do it and maybe he's just trying to close the distance or something but uh perhaps if if this pilot would have um followed instead of trying to cut off um perhaps he could have gotten in a better position but then again the mig-21 has what i believe is more potential for speed so it could pull away a little bit easier um if this guy's not making smaller circles so um so yeah i don't i don't really know how that would play out if the MiG-19 relaxed a little bit and tried to fly the same size circle as the MiG-21. Uh, uh, at least until, maybe a, maybe a slightly smaller circle, but at least until uh, the aircraft got close enough and then uh, perform an energy excursion, get the lead, and uh, put shots on target. This is kind of interesting. I didn't know that they were flying this perfect of a... Uh, of a set of circles. Well, there he, there he got a little bigger. Eh, it's just an offset circle. Sorry. This is where, uh, I, I did notice this. They, the MiG seemed, the, or sorry, the MiG-21 seemed to get a little further away from the MiG-19 in terms of their angular, uh, difference. Um, not necessarily linear dis difference, but where they were in, uh, around the circle. And so we went away from that really pretty, almost concentric rings, all go in the same direction to kind of a more chaotic uh, setup. And, um, but, you know, eventually the MiG-19 was able to kind of come back around and um, get back in that same position. So, 
Um, I, I'm sure that there could be more, uh, much more to say about how they're flying here, but I don't have the knowledge necessarily to analyze it the way I'd like. Let's go back. Let's do this. Always forget to do this. Yeah, there we go. All right. So the circles get a little bit more offset, less offset, depending on how things are going. Once again, we're, we're kind of on opposite sides of the circle. And then I guess uh, it looks like the MiG-19 goes a little bit more laterally there, perhaps, so that he doesn't, um, yeah, he, he kind of does more like big barrel rolls instead of half loops or, or full loops um, to kind of roll around and, and keep his lift vector pointed more towards the uh, the enemy. And that seems to eventually bring him back into a position where he can... Uh, oh, and there we go. There was the ejection because of uh, um, presumably a lack of fuel. But, um, but what it looked like the MiG-19 was doing was when he got really offset, uh, he, he would do more of a lateral turn than a vertical turn. He would just put a little bit more of a lateral component into it, and that seemed to eventually get him back in a better position, I think. I'm speculating there. Uh, but that is it for this video, and these are getting longer because they're in some ways getting more interesting. But um, I believe what we'll do is the next video should be the last one because we're coming down to not a lot of aircraft left in the fight. And um, so it should be kind of interesting. Actually, sorry, I think there's two more videos. I think I have to do a little bit more in the winner's bracket and the loser's bracket. But um, anyway, we'll see. There's, there's either one or two videos left. And um, as always, I appreciate you guys watching. Take care.